Hi, Gary Smith here. I'm just going to do a short video just to show the product wizard and the product bundle wizard. So I have an opportunity here. In fact, the problem it overcomes is, is this one here, really. This is the standard button for adding products to opportunities. And this is the, the standard interface for selecting those products. And really, the problem is that if you've got a lot of products, there's only 55 in this particular Salesforce environment. But if you've got a lot of products, it quite quickly becomes difficult to find and identify the right products that should be on the opportunity and what that means is that products either get left off either because uh, either because people give up looking for them or simply people forget to it's not really easy on the eye people forget to add certain products to the opportunity or particularly optional products and uh, things like service contracts and so on so uh, the bundle wizard and the uh, product wizard are a way to to get around that so what we'd normally do is take this button off the page layout and uh, put these two buttons on so um let's in fact let's start with the product bundle wizard if i click the button it opens up a visual force page and with, within this category here are the different product bundles that have been defined and um, this this definition of what constitutes um, a bundle is done either by the system administrator or by the uh, by the product manager so you can see we've got different combinations of packages here and so on. So if I select that one, then this is the quantity and the bundle price for each item that has been defined by the uh, by the product manager. This is an optional button that we can put on. So the salesperson can go, and go in and uh, modify, for example, the quantity in this particular case, or uh, perhaps the discount that applies to each individual line item within the bundle. So these are the uh, these are my different part elements of the bundle. If I click save here, I'm saving the combination of uh, quantity and price. And when I click finish. So I've got five items in my bundle. Those items are added to the product in the um, in the normal way. So these are product line items in the um, absolutely normal way that you would get if you'd use the add product to add them. Do that, but I've got a I've got a, a combination of products that have been added there. Um, the product wizard button can be used either in conjunction with the product bundle so I'll do that now or it can be used um, in standalone so we might not have used the, the product bundle al already but um, if I click on the product wizard button then I get, also get a visual force page these are the different product families and within each product family in this case we've got some subgroups you can either have uh, the categorization just at the product family or the subgroup. In fact, we have some customers with a further grouping of, of products because they've just got thousands of products in the system. You can see over on the right hand side of the page, these are the products that have already been added to this opportunity. In this case, via the, the bundle wizard that we did a moment ago, um, if I was clicking on the product wizard for the first time, then, then this would be blank. Um, there's an additional level of categorization here which is optional but some companies like to have the product split between what you might call core products so these are um, fundamental products that we're selling and perhaps optional products such as uh, service contracts or uh, other optional features and so on so i'll go through this and uh, let's select uh, one or two uh, other products so you can see here so i've selected that first product um, it's opened up page for me. I can uh, uh, adjust the quantity. I can apply a discount if appropriate to that particular line item. And I don't know if you noticed, but this is the this is the now the running total of all products that will be on the opportunity, and that's in real time the the price that uh, has been updated. So I can go through and add some other products to the opportunity. So. And adjust the quantity again let's say and now the price is updated in real time so that's the product wizard if i click on finish then it'll take us back to the opportunity and show the additional products that have been added to the opportunity in this particular case as i say the wizard can be used either on its own or in conjunction with uh, with a product bundle so it's a good way really both are intended to make it much easier for salespeople to find and identify the right products and just make sure that the uh, the um, the value of the opportunity is not suboptimum by leaving off in particular i think uh, optional products and so on so uh, that's the product wizard and that's the bundle wizard thanks very much for watching cheers 
To find out how to make it easy to add products to opportunities in your business, visit our website and then fill in a form or give us a call on the number that's on the screen in front of you now. Thanks very much.